Today I'm here to share with you hidden gem mobile games. Games that have been out that no one knows of that are actually incredible or new titles that you have to give a chance to because they're actually that good and worth the download. I have over 10 of them for you today on today's list, so let's dive into it so that you have something solid to play that you could tell all your friends about. To start out the list today, I wanna to share with you War Thunder Mobile, which sits with 5 million downloads and 4.4 stars. This is a military shooter where you get to play as a variety of different vessels and take it out on other opponents. This has competitive multiplayer as well as single player game modes as well. So if you wanna practice it up in the single player mode, you could do that and then take it to the house when you dominate other players inside of the game. Inside of this one, air, naval, and ground vehicles are gonna to fight together on the same battlefield, just like in real life. All ships, tanks, and aircraft in War Thunder Mobile look and actually act the way that they should in the real world. So it gives you some real world elements and it's a gameplay that's fairly realistic. Next up, we have Bro Royale Mayhem Shooter. This one has 100,000 downloads and 4.4 stars. And it's just funny as hell. You have characters that we all know and love from the 80s and 90s in this battler. We're talking about Mr. T. We're talking about A-Team characters. We're talking about Rocky Balboa. We even have the Terminator inside of this one, Hulk Hogan. And they're all just playing it out on the battlefield. The combat inside of this game is actually really good as well. It's fun, it's easy to control, and it's something that's gonna give you that fix that you may want for a shooter type game. But it definitely leans heavily into the comedy and the whole retro feel, and the nostalgia that we have from some of these shows and movies that we used to love from back in the day. Now with Call of Duty Warzone just dropping, a lot of people aren't paying attention to smaller shooter titles like Blood Strike. This one has 10 million downloads and 4.6 stars and is actually a great tactical battle royale style game that a lot of people are actually loving right now. So if you're looking for a battle royale style game that's actually fairly good, that allows vehicle combat and that is not on everyone's radar, this one right here, Blood Strike, is one that you can take a peek at. Devil May Cry Peak of Combat sits with 1 million downloads and 4.4 stars. This game is unique and amazing for many reasons. One of those is that we've played this forever on our consoles. We love Devil May Cry and being able to take it on mobile is a huge benefit. But in addition to that, this has action RPG style combat that is actually really comfortable to play, really fun and rewarding. In addition to that, you can control three different characters. When you're done fighting with one, or if you need to swap out, you can swap to another character that then drops into the battle and takes over for you. So you could have three different types of battlers and could be controlling them all at once in your fights. This is something we don't typically see in any other titles, so I was excited to see it inside of this one. The game offers a lot of depth, and there's a lot to do in here. Punishing Grey Raven is next, which has 1 million downloads and 4.4 stars. What we're looking at in this game is an action role-playing game with an anime twist. The reason that this one stands out to me is because of its dark fantasy anime feel. It's not bright, colorful, and like many of the other Genshin-style games that we're coming familiar with. This one has a dark flair to it that makes it a little bit more brutal, which is very fitting of an action RPG. The Walking Zombie Shooter 2 has 50 million downloads and 4.5 stars. And this is essentially a shooting style game where you're taking down the zombie apocalypse. It stands out because of its casual artwork style that actually implements quite a bit of comedy into the game itself. It's a really good feeling game as well. It has a Minecrafty look with the pixelation, but it actually has its own creativeness that the game brings itself. For the most part, we're looking at a single player title here that's even an offline game that you could really enjoy. You progress your character and weapons as you go, and you just take out zombies, and that's always rewarding. Knight's Edge PVP Raid Arena has 1 million downloads and 4.5 stars. 
In this title, you're in a vertical style game where you and two friends go from room to room with your characters, upgrading them as you go, taking down more and more enemies. This is, yes, a PvE and a PvP style game that's actually quite rewarding. The top-down format is also familiar to many players that like this type of game. It's something that if you're looking for a more casual style shooter and you want to play something with friends in a PvP format, you could go for this one. It's really fun. It keeps you coming back for more, but it doesn't bring you so much depth where it could become overwhelming. Hunt Royale is fun. It's an action RPG battler style game that also, similar to the last title, is something that's a little bit more casual, but also rewarding and fun. It's a roguelike multiplayer and single player experience where you dive into the game, have to take down enemies that are coming after you in battle royale format. Farlight 84 is the next title that I wanna feature here. It has 10 million downloads, but only 2.7 stars, a little bit unloved by the community. The reason why I love this one is for, well, many reasons. One, the vehicle gameplay is really awesome, a lot of fun, and easy to do. In addition, you have jetpacks, which we don't see in a lot of these games, and it kind of feels like if you were to mix Fortnite and PUBG together, you'd have something like Farlight 84. There's a lot of comedy within the game as well, and some really great characters that you could play as, all with different stats. You mix that with all the different weapons that you can gain along the way, and you have yourself a really solid shooter-style game, this one in a Battle Royale format. I quite like it, and I'm curious to know what you guys think about it. Soul Knight is up next, and this one's been around for a while. It has 50 million downloads and 4.4 stars. It's a roguelike, single-player, offline mobile game that's actually quite fun. Tons of people love this one, hence the good star rating and the number of downloads that it has. It's a great one that if you're going somewhere and you're not gonna have internet connection that you could download it on your phone and prepare so you have something to do when there's nothing else to do. I like this game and I would recommend you try it. Fog, MOBA Battle Royale game is another one that I really do enjoy and I've played quite a bit of. It has a million downloads and 4.3 stars. And this game looks like an action RPG. The top-down format will remind you very much of that. But it's a Battle Royale style game. You drop in, choosing your character with the abilities that that type of character has, and you need to find chests, and you need to take down enemies to further progress your character's strength so that you could win the matches. It's basically Battle Royale, but it's in a format of an action RPG. And the game is super fun and addicting. It definitely keeps you hitting that replay button, especially if you don't pull in that victory. I like this one. Fenton Arena MOBA Survival. I put this one on the list here for a reason. Yes, it may remind you of something like Brawl Stars, but something cool about this game is it has tons of different gameplay modes. Not that something like Brawl Stars doesn't. This game sits with 10 million downloads and 4.3 stars and used to be associated with the blockchain. I'm talking about NFT style gaming. I don't believe it still lives in that world since that world has kind of faded. With that being said, you have Battle Royale, many different other game modes, even MOBA, a legit MOBA inside of this game. When you have your characters and invest in their progression, you could take them throughout many different styles of gameplay, which really adds value to you upgrading your character. You could play a MOBA with them in one moment and then dive into a Battle Royale style game or even a 1v1 solo battle or maybe even a free for all. Definitely a fun experience with many different characters that you're gonna enjoy. You'll find your favorites, upgrade them, power up their skills and weapons, and dominate in all facets of the game. Bullet Echo is next on the list and it has 10 million downloads and 4.5 stars. It's a simplistic style tactical shooter where you go from room to room trying to take down the enemies that happen to be in your flashlight's beam. Very fun game that actually has a massive following of players that absolutely love it, and it's probably one that you would enjoy too if you're looking for a shooter that just feels a bit different. I hope that you guys found a title on today's list that you could dive into and really enjoy. I try to bring you lists every single day, bringing you some of the best mobile games from all different genres, and in today's case, some hidden gems. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos, giving you games that you may have never heard of and that you need to know that you should try. Remember to subscribe, guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow.